Welcome! I'm Elizabeth Harper from stillwoodlove.com and intuitivesoulcircle.com. I'm thrilled that you're here. We're working with the angels and Mother's Day is the energy of this week, right? Our focus on loving the mother, loving the feminine, connecting with our nurturing, the nurturing for ourselves and that nurturing from your mom. And that mother energy is the earth, is the vibration of Gaia, the love that Gaia has for you and the love that you have for Gaia that drew you to this beautiful planet and this beautiful existence at this time. So we are using my friend Star Laden's cards. They are what would love to. And these are the cards. We're going to shuffle them in a moment and just invite the angels in to guide us to a message. So they're one word messages. What I'd love for you to do is place your hands over the heart. Invite your angels in to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. All right, you ready? So I'm going to shuffle the cards and invite that beautiful angelic energy in. Now, just as I'm doing that, I am seeing um, a color <laughs> for myself with the angelic vibration. Close your eyes just for a moment and invite the angels in and see what color comes to you. There may be lots of colors, but see what the dominant color is and then ask which angel is with you. And it might not be a named angel that you know. It might be the angel of joy, the angel of abundance, the angel of love. All right, let's take a card for everybody, for all of us, the angelic energy for all of us. Concentration, green was the color that was coming to me. This is the exact same green, which is kind of interesting. It says concentration creates peace of mind. So when we concentrate, we're focused, we're focusing on something and other things are not distracting us. So we are focused on that one thing, we are focused on a number of different things, but we're staying centered, we're staying in the present moment as well with that concentration, right? At least I am, when I'm concentrated on something, I'm in the present moment. So I feel that's what this is about, is being in the present moment. Now, it has this beautiful green. This green is actually, it's olive green, and in Orosoma, the um, color system, the bottles behind me, if you see them, one of the systems that I use for color, the olive green bottle is called feminine leadership. So I feel that this energy is coming up. First of all, that concentration is the message, but I also see with the green that it's about you as the leader. Feminine, allowing your feminine to come through. And you know, sometimes we don't do that. We might think that the feminine is weak. It's not. It's very strong. There is strength in that gentleness. There is strength in that nurturing. There is strength, strength in adaptability as well, which I feel, flexibility as well, which I feel is very much a, a feminine trait. So there is a sense with this message is kind of double focused. Concentration, focus, being in a place of peace and also this feminine leadership energy as well for all of us. So it's like take charge this month, really stay focused and concentrate on your goals, concentrate on whatever it is you want to achieve at this time. Okay, number one, let's see what's coming up for you. Number one, number one is B. I love that. You see that it's red, the heart is red, and then all around is white. Red and white are colors of love. We are human beings and not human doings. So just about being. Again, it's about being in the present moment. It's about being you. It's about being connected and staying connected. It's about staying focused. I also feel with this, because it's white and red, that that red energy maybe is about 
grounding into the present moment, about grounding into the here and now, about connecting to yourself, about being with you, about loving yourself, and not allowing yourself to take on what others think of you. It's hard to do, I know. But the most important person, the most important person is you. That's the thing. The most important person in your life is you. So loving yourself, being with you, respecting you, being who you came to be, is so much more important than what others think of you. And those others are a part of you. They are a part of your essence, they're a part of your energy, they're a part of your, your being. I feel with this as well that the white energy is about clearing things out of your energy field, clearing things out of your life that are not connected to you being, that are not connected to the energy of love. And that red, the root chakra, is rooting you into the earth and maybe really grounding into and affirming, this is who I am. I am standing in my power and my power is the love that I have for myself. It's an affirmation, isn't it? We are human beings and not human doings. That's the thing. You know, sometimes we do, 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 don't we? And I know this for myself. It's like you, at the end of the day, you're thinking, what did I do today? And it's all these different things. And it's like you forget your spirit. You forget your soul. You disconnect from your light. So it's important to stay connected to your light. And part of that way of doing that is just by being, being. How can you be today? What is it you're going to do that will help you to be? I feel like that was a long message, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, number two. Let's see what wants to come up. Just get a little shiver as I connect to this. Intention. No wonder, because that's on the front of the box. Intention. So, and it's on the back of the card. See? Very important message. So, regardless of what this message says, for you, your angels are saying, listen up. This is very important. I feel like the message is, we're here. We're here for you. We're here to support you. We're here to surround you with love. We are here by your side. I feel such a strong energy that's coming through me with that. Intention. Our intention precedes every action we take. Be mindful and deliberate. Isn't that true? Because we intend something and then that draws us to take action, that intention. I intend to create this video. So then that creates an action. I move toward it and do it. So what is your intention right now? What do you want to move toward? And if you're sitting there thinking, you know what, this isn't happening in my life and that's not happening in my life and I'm not getting this and I'm not getting that. Well, your angels are just saying, what's your intention? Focus on your intention. Not on what you want, but what your intention is. Your intention for peace, your intention for happiness, your intention for joy, your intention for love, your intention for harmony. And then your energy will move toward it. That action will be there. I love that. Okay. Final card. I love that that card came out. Ooh, do you know what? It's interesting with this. I feel like I want all of them. Kindness. And you see that has a very similar, doesn't it? All the colors that are there. But there's a muted part to this, all these beautiful colors that are there, there's just gentleness there. It says kindness is wholehearted consideration for others. So when we think of kindness, I'll go to the colors in a moment. When we think of kindness, we think of being kind to others, don't we? We think of being nice to others and kind to your animals and, and kind to the earth, etc. But what about you? What kindness have you done for yourself today? When I think about that question for myself, I think, okay, well, so what kindness have I done for myself today? And I 
can't think of anything because, you know, I was cleaning the house and I was doing my work and feeding the cats and <laughs> all kinds of different things, having a shower. And maybe that could be construed as kindness, having a shower. But at the same time, I feel like I haven't been intending, that intention isn't there to give myself kindness, to be kind to myself. What is it you can do today that would be seen as being kind to yourself? You being kind to you. What is it you would do that at the end of the day you say, okay, well, that's what I did that was kind to me and not kind, just kind to others. It was kind to me. What would that be? So for myself, when I'm thinking about it, I feel like the kindness is actually meditation, is to sit in meditation and just to sit and be. I feel like all the messages are coming together, aren't they? So we have the message of concentration, be, intention, kindness. I feel like that last one, kindness, for me is about sitting in meditation with an intention and being concentrated focus on connecting to my angels and connecting to me, connecting to my light, connecting to my soul. What is it for you? That kindness might be to have a massage. That kindness might be just to hug yourself. That kindness might be to look in the mirror and say, I love you. That kindness might be to get rid of things that no longer serve you and maybe move out of relationships that no longer serve you. How are you being kind to yourself today? Okay, I love that. So let's just look at all these cards together. All these different colors, you see? This final one with the golden energy. Gold is a color of wisdom. So that kindness again is about wisdom. It's about opening your heart up and that golden energy is to me a connection to the angels. So call your angels in today to support the kindness that you'll have for yourself, that you have already for yourself, right? You're already kind to yourself, aren't you? You're already giving yourself lots of love. So let's do that just for a moment. Just hold yourself, just hold yourself and close your eyes and just tell yourself that I love you. I love my body, I love my heart, I love every part of me, I love my soul. I love my personality, I love my light. I love every aspect of my life. I love who I am and I love who I can be. And as you do that, notice the energy that is moving through you, through your body, through your light, through your being. And you can open your eyes and just, just give your body a little massage. Just let the cells know that you love every cell. You love every part of your being. You just love. <laughs> your body really appreciates it body really appreciates all that love that you're receiving all right thank you so much for being here remember to get the healing with the angels mini course it's still available right now and it's free so click the link in the description or my bio wherever you are and get that mini course and I will see you next week. Thank you for sharing my work. Thank you for commenting. I do read all the comments. And thank you for your love.